Hello everyone, uh, today uh, we are going to start uh, this course and um, the first thing I would like to talk about is before going toward the uh, numerics is uh, a little bit about analytics and uh, some of the notations that we are going to use in this course. Uh, it is very important to know some basic uh, elements and basic concepts about uh, differential equations before we can proceed into uh, some uh, solving numerical, uh, solving those equations or especially differential equations numerically. Uh, so in order to do that, uh, the first part of the course, we are going to delve into some of the basics in um, differential equations. Uh, we will start with some notations, then uh, talk a little bit about ordinary differential equations or ODEs, and then uh, we will discuss uh, partial differential equations, their classification. And after that, uh, if you look at the syllabus uh, that I uh, sent you, uh, we will go through uh, the method of characteristics, which is one way of solving these equations. Uh, partial differential equations, uh, separation of variables, which is another way, especially for PDEs, um, that can be used for solving those equations. And then after that, we will talk about complex Fourier transforms, which are important way of um, uh, dealing with these uh, uh, nonlinear PDEs. And after that, we are going to go through the numerics. Uh, so we start with the system of linear equations, uh, find a difference method and uh, truncation errors. That is how uh, we are going to go through the um, uh, kind of the numerical way of solving these equations after the analytics. So I would say like 40, 30 percent of the, the course will be more on the analytics on some basic understanding of differential equations. And after that, we will go through the, uh, the, the rest of the course uh, will be, of course, on the uh, more numerical side of the equations and how we are going to solve. And, you know, these are very important for engineering problems uh, because these equations all appear in different fields in uh, engineering. So let's get started um, with defining some notations that we are going to use in this course. So notations. So the first one is uh, vectors. So let me write it this way, vectors. So most of you probably already know this, but just uh, for those who might have forgotten this, uh, so we define vector fields as this, V1, I1, where I, I1 is a unit vector, which I'm going to define it, plus V2, I2, plus V3, I3. Or another way of defining it is, the, for example, if you have a three-dimensional field, we can define it as Vx, Ix, plus Vy, Iy, plus Vz, Iz, where V1, V2, V3, are just equal to Vx, Vy, Vz. Okay, so this is the vectors, that how we define vectors, and then we have unit vectors. So unit vectors are defined based on your core, it can be defined based on your coordinate system. For example, for a three-dimensional space, we can define it as this, 1, 0, 0. I2 could be 0, 1, 0. And I3, 0, 0, 1, right? This is like a, based on your coordinate system. This can be the way you can define 
the unit vectors uh, and then functions so what are the functions you already know this but I am just trying to give you how we define it in this course so f can be a function of x y z and time this is what we typically use here so we have three dimension x y z and uh, time equals to f and we define a vector x uh, and show it with uh, this notation x and uh, t and this is how we define functions and uh, the next thing I want to define is differentiation differentiation okay so differentiation um, you uh, I mean depends on your background but this is important to know that we have uh, a difference between this notation du over dt versus this one Sorry about this, delta u over partial t. Partial u over partial t. So what is the difference? You should already know this, like, this is very important thing. Like, what is the difference between these two? So think a little bit about this. So the difference is, this is, total derivative meaning if u is a vector you need to take the derivative with respect to all the components of that vector right and this is partial derivative so this means that you hold other variables and you only take the derivative or differenti differentiation with respect to this variable or like t so if u is a function of x y uh, z and t you keep all the other components of that constant and you only uh, take the derivative with respect to t while here uh, in the uh, in the total derivative you take the derivative with respect to all of the variables like x y z and t okay so this is the definition for differentiation and then we have some other definitions that you need to know in this course so one is uh, Grad. So the gradient is defined as uh, gradient is defined as dx i plus dy j plus d over dz k or you can write it as this d over dx i1 which are the unit vectors d over dy i2 plus d over dz i3 okay so these are all unit vectors and then we have a uh, divergence the divergence of f this is also important is defined as dfx over dx plus dfy over dy plus dfz over dz and this is called the divergence 
or div of f. Okay. So one thing about this is that this is gonna give us a scalar, right? So this is not any any more a vector. This is gonna give um, this operation is gonna give us a scalar. And on the other hand, we have grad f. So grad f, let's see what it's going to give us. So it is it is df over dx i1 plus df over dy i2 plus df over dz i3. So as you see, this is giving us a vector. This is a vector field, right? So you see some subtle, uh, some subtle similarities between these two, right? Uh, you see that they look very, uh, they look similar, kind of similar to each other, like this term and this term and this term and this term and uh, this one and this one but this uh, the di the divergence field is going to give us a scalar field while this one is going to while the grad is going to give us a vector field okay so this is the difference between these two and the other definition that we have and notation that we are going to use is sigma. So this is probably you already know this, but again, for those who forgot it, I'm going to repeat it again. So sigma i equals to 1 to n of a i is defined as a1 plus a2 plus up to a n so this is this shows the summation okay so this is a summation and then we have the product the product is shown with this pi 1 to n of a i equal uh, is defined as a 1 times a 2 times a 3 times a n so this is defined as the product Okay, so this is product. And the other concept I want to define is what we call as a function continuity. Continuity. So we define a function to be continuous. So a function is continuous at x if if it satisfies this condition if the limit of epsilon goes to zero of f x plus epsilon equals to the limit of epsilon goes to zero f x minus epsilon equals to fx okay so if this uh, condition is satisfied then we can say that this function is continuous and similarly we can define it as uh, cn continuous based on the derivatives uh, but i'm not going to go through this but just remember uh, the cn continuous cn continuity is also uh, can define that based on continue continuous we can define uh, this based on um, based on the uh, derivatives of uh, dm f over dxm okay so this is one important definition because we are going to use that. And then the other concept is um, order of differential equations. 
okay so what is this uh, this is we define it as the highest order derivative in the equation okay so this is how we define the order of a differential equation and the other thing I want to go through is very important note and that is uh, Taylor theorem this is very important because we are going to use it later a lot but I, oh, I expect you to know this but I am going to just give you uh, the definition again and the uh, so the theorem again so kind of to refresh your minds okay so the Taylor's theorem talks about how we can write a function a continuous function based on its derivatives around it around a, like a, a specific location in x so we can write it as this let the theorem is as this let the function fx be continuous and uh, the exact wording is to it needs to be c and continuous but for simplicity, I, I just write it uh, as continuous over A and B. Then for any points X0 belong to A and B, and x belong to a and b we can write this we can express f at x as its value at x0 plus the derivative of f with respect to x at x0 x minus x0 times x minus x0 plus the second derivative of f with respect to x at x0 x minus times x minus x0 square over 2 factorial and you do this up to the n minus uh, derivative <coughs> of f with respect to x at x0 times x minus x0 time uh, to the power n minus 1 or n minus 1 factorial plus a residual n and the residual is the nth derivative of f with respect to n x at a point epsilon like uh, a point like kesi x minus x naught to power n over n factorial where this point is belongs to the region A and B okay so this is the Taylor's theorem which is a very important theorem that you need to know uh, that, that how we uh, kind of uh, uh, write a function at any point X at any point X uh, as a function as a uh, relation for a known x naught or x zero and its derivatives around that point okay so this is very important and uh, 
very important in this course because we are gonna use this it will be used for discretizing a differential equations or discretizing differential equations.